Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got new Puri support, we got new Karibo support, and a new Boss Galaxy support. If you're excited about this, drop a like on this video, but let's get started. So, starting right off, these are going to be coming out in Photon Hypernova. So, uh, starting off, we have a new Photon card called Photon Emperor. So, uh, it's a level 8 light warrior effect monster with 2800 attack and 1000 defense points. And it says you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. The first part is, if this card is sent to the graveyard, except from the field, and you have another photon or galaxy monster on your field or in your graveyard you can special this card in the defense position okay cool so easy special summon card the second part of the effect is after you normal or special summon this card you can normal summon one light monster during your main phase this turn in addition to your normal summon slash set um, you can only gain this effect of at once per turn okay that's a pretty good effect additional summon and that so you can maybe use your you know starters and openers after that play next up though we have the galaxy summoner which is a light level four spellcaster effect monster 1600 attack 1400 defense points and it says you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn the first part of the effect is if this card is normal or special summon you get to target a photon or galaxy monster in your graveyard except for galaxy summoner and special summon in defense position pretty decent already second part is you can target one other light monster you control that has a level its uh level becomes four until the end of this turn okay cool uh, i really wish you could like uh, target another one make it four or eight that's what we needed but it's still good though like for sure next up we oh it's, it's a galaxy uh Karibo. okay uh so this is a, a level one light fiend effect monster 300 attack 200 defense points its uh card is always treated as a galaxy card when an opponent's monster clears an attack you can discard this card to support some one galaxy ice photon dragon from your hand or deck then change the attack target to it uh, then you can attach this card from your graveyard to an Xyz, um, uh monster on the field as material. Oh, okay. Well, does this card have to, I'm guessing it has, it's just discarding the card. So you could just end up on a blank board and they actually change the attack target. So I don't think they get to redeclare their attack, right? So you just be like, oh, you attack into it. And then you could maybe boost up the monster. You can do a lot of cool stuff. I like this card. Uh, definitely has some actual use. Cause it's not just like if attacks a galaxy, just you take no damage or something, you know? Most of the cards, let's be honest, have been relatively mediocre. So this one's actually good. Um, second part of the effect is if a photon uh, and or galaxy monster or monsters you control will be destroyed by a uh, battle or an opponent's card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Okay. Nice stuff, indeed. Another bonus effect. All right, this is that new boss monster, right? So rank eight light dragon seed monster called uh, number C62 Neo Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. This is definitely gonna be their boss monster. All right, 4,000 attack, 3,000 defense, three level eight light mon monsters. And it says you can also exceed some of this card by using number 62 Galaxy uh, Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. You control transfer its materials to this card. The first part of the effect is at the start of the battle phase, you can de detach a material from this card, then this card can make up to three attacks on monsters during this battle phase. The second part is, if this card has Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon as a material, it gains this effect. So it's unaffected by your opponent's monster effect. So new boss monster, got written all over that. Uh, the next part of the effect, it gains attack each of the uh, combined levels and ranks of all monsters attached to it as material times uh, 100. So that's a decent amount of attack. I mean, considering it's supposed to have an, an insane amount of attack and it's all of them, not just one. So you can maybe get it up to like five 5,000 plus, and you can maybe attack up to three different monsters. I mean, it's got OTK written all over it. Now, if this was unaffected by other card effects, this would be really good because it's a really easy summon condition. But more than likely, monster effects are kind of the most important things to stop. Uh, that, and I guess like Imperm and then Droplets too. But like, for the most part, this is probably one of the best. Uh, next up though, we have another, oh, this is this Stardust? That looks like Stardust Dragon. All right, so this is Galaxy Photon Dragon, a rank four light dragon exceeds effect monster and uh, 2,000 attack, zero defense, and it's two level four, so it's a generic. Uh, you can only use the second and third effect of this card's name uh, once per turn each. The first part of the effect is all other light monsters you control gain 500 attack. The second part is you attach a material from this card to take a photon or galaxy card from your deck and you either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. The third effect is if a light monster or monster is a special summon to your field, you can target one of them that has level, its level becomes four or eight until the end of this turn. Hey, it has that other effect that I was asking for. <laughs> Next up, we have a Galaxy Hundred. So this is a continuous spell card that says you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. The first part is uh, when this card resolves, you get to send a photon or galaxy card from your deck to the graveyard. The second part is a, if Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon is special summoned to your field, you can look at your opponent's extract and then you can apply one of these effects, banish one monster from it, or suppose some one number monster from it to your field. What? That is like actually pretty insane. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be RNG if you can pull it off, but that, that's insane. Just be like, all right, let me look at your your extra deck and just let me just special summon a monster from it. Uh, that is so crazy. Uh, 
Dang, that's so good, because like that could be your turn and your opponent's turn if you special someone, because you could special someone with the other cards. Uh, this could be really huge on a matchup. It could be like an auto win, potentially. That's cool, though. Next up, though, we have Numeron Creation, which is a normal spell card that says... Well, actually, you know what? It doesn't say ignore so many conditions, though. That could be a huge deal. Uh, I don't know what you'd target with it, but it's still, it's got potential, right? Anyways, Numeron Creation is a normal spell card that says this card is always treated as a Galaxy uh, Eyes card. You can only apply the effect of this card's name once per turn. The first part says, if there are three or more light dragon monsters on the field with 3,000 or more attack, suppose some one dragon number exceeds the monster from your extra deck, then attach this card to it on the field as material, okay? pretty cool card it seems like it may be like a win harder card because if you're already go going and having the material to make that boss monster you're more likely to win the game anyways so i don't know about how i feel about that card next up though we have the photon declaration what the heck what 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 is this translation <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh okay normal trap card says take a photon or galaxy continuous spell slash trap from your deck and either add it to your hand or place it up face up on the field okay next up the second part of the deck is if the set card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect during their turn and you control galaxy eyes photon dragon or to exceed monster has material you can make it become the end phase <laughs> dude that is like actually ridiculous it, it, oh dude I don't know if someone's going to try, but what I'm thinking is if you play artifacts, because it, it does, okay, you do have to control Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon or an Exceed Monster has it as material. Um, there's an artifact card that makes it so they have to destroy this card. You could potentially run this in some weird, basically an FTK. Um, yeah, it just becomes the end phase. So like, as soon as you make that card, I think it, it makes it so it's either the mon monster, if I, I think it's Artifact or is it Durandal? Someone comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I, I gotta check this out. This, this actually opens up, this is actually potentially broken. Like you, if you go first, you just, your opponent gets on a turn, right? Uh, uh, it's this card, right? Uh, when a monster effect is activated on the field or when a normal spell such trap is activated, you attach a material from this card, the activated effect becomes destroy one spell trap card your opponent controls. So if, if they destroy it, right? And as long as you happen to have either Photon uh, Dragon as material, or you have it, it just becomes the end phase. So if you can make that and that, your opponent literally gets no turn and you just win the next turn. Because if you have Durendal plus that, that's like what, 5k attack? You literally summon any small amount, well it's like, what is it actually, 5,400, right? Um, that's a really cheeky way to make a game. Okay, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna definitely try that. Okay, we got new Rescue Ace monster support as well. This is Rescue Ace Intruder. It's a Fire Warrior effect, level four, 1800 and 1800. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. The first part is if this card is normal or special summon, you get to add a Rescue Ace trap from your deck to your hand. Uh, the second part is when your opponent activates a monster effect on the field as a quick effect, you contribute this card from your hand or field, then target one Rescue Ace monster favorite except for Rescue Ace Intruder and special summon it. And then lastly, we got the Empery Noir. So this is like the EV archetype, if you guys remember. Um, the x Pure Noir. Uh, so it's Dark Fairy, it sees effect, uh, rank seven. Uh, 1100 uh, attack, 2800 defense points, at two level seven monsters. And you can also exceed some of this by using one rank two monster you control with five or more materials. Transfer its materials to this card. The first part of the effect is this this card with five or more materials unaffected by opponent's activated effects. The second part is you can detach two materials from this card to target one card your opponent controls or in the graveyard and place it on the bottom of the deck. This is a quick effect. This card has a level one period monster as material. Okay. I'm actually more, the funny thing is, I'm actually more excited about the photon stuff that's like not even for photons, I'm just for some cheesy way to make a game. But anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts on any of the new Yu-Gi-Oh cards down below. But if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you're new here and you want to see more new Yu-Gi-Oh cards so you don't miss out, make sure you guys subscribe with the bell noti on and you'll see more in the future. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.